Hello, okay, well this is too funny. So first of all, the ship goes sideways, right? And the first thing out their mouths is they blame the woman, right? That's they, they blame mom because that's who the target of all this is. That's why I told you, you know, in the last video, together is to get her. That's why the corona vaccine, the first person to give it was the woman. The first person to get it was a woman. Domestic abuse against women, all-time highs worldwide because of the coronavirus. So as soon as this ship turned sideways and it looked like we could possibly have a big, big, big shipping uh, you know, global trade disaster on our hands. The, the, that thing wasn't stuck for 12 hours. And as you can read right here, everybody was on there blaming the female captain and saying, you know, damn women drivers. That's how I even stumbled upon it was a video <laughs> blaming, you know, damn women drivers. But what was funny is that in that video, I told you that <clears throat> the official narrative was the wind, right? N knocked it sideways, which no one even believed that anyway. But we, this, these are all, in my opinion, staged events because that's the, even why they happen on the days they happen on. But anyway, so I told you, so I showed you how they were blaming the female captain, but the official narrative was wind turned it sideways. And then it was literally a few hours after that where they said, no, it wasn't the wind. And that they said it could have been human error, but it also could have been some sort of technical malfunction or technical glitch. So this thing came and went and I don't even know what the hell, if anyone even knows, what really, really happened. But here's a couple things. So funny that the moon saves it, right? So they blame mom, but then tell her, hey, thanks for saving everybody, because that's the moon. You know, I have seen the moon uh, associated with the masculine one, only one time, and that's in the Babylonian. So I don't see how, as long as the female menstrual cycle is around, I don't see how you're going to mainly or ever really associate the 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 masculine with the moon you know but anyway so it be, that's hilarious so they blame mom but then say hey thanks a lot for saving us and that's another thing too right if the earth is made if the earth is made of water ma mainly made of water what 70 80 percent whatever the number is if your body is made up of 70 or 80 percent water and the moon affects the tides so much so that it loosened this stuck ship that could have caused Armageddon. Why would there not be any kind of effect on you? It doesn't make any sense. If you're under the stars, you're under their influence, right? Mom grows right beneath your feet. The grass, the crops, the trees, the flowers. So, um... It's just too funny. So anyway, also I wanted to point out that someone else caught that I didn't. This is Zeus backwards, right? And But I did mention this because of the day that it happened on, being a 23 backwards, that how important this number is to them, 23, because it's the top of the, of the two Masonic pillars, two for Jupiter, which is known as Zeus. In Greek... It's Zeus, in Roman, it's Jupiter. And that's where Jesus comes from, because Zeus is Zeus, and the J is for Jupiter. And in, in fact, a lot of the Latin countries call him, hey, Zeus. So again, this stuff is not by mistake. And the canal, is that, that was in the, uh, it had the word canal. C-A-N, that's Cain, that's, over here on this side. So that's always about the stars, but that is not really important, okay? I mean, it is, but don't worry about this. You know, that was just a cool catch, and it just goes to show this shit's whacked out. But, you know, this thing ended up being uh, settled a lot sooner than I thought. True story. Like, I really thought it was going to be a lot worse than this because this is what I would think that this event that I'm waiting on is going to look like. It's going to... This is why was, this was the genius behind it all because this is something that the Federal Reserve can't save us from. Nothing, you know, you can print all the money you want to, you can negative interest rates, whatever, that's not going to dislodge a ship. And what was also unfortunate, now I didn't want it to be this way, but they had, uh, there were remote viewers that were saying that um, they were seeing, uh, you know, remote viewing is kind of like predicting the future, or you have visions, it's basically just having visions. And it's a real thing because the military's tested it, and they have tested it, and they have test groups. They they do it. So it's I don't they may I don't think they they on publicly say they don't do it anymore, 
Whether or not that's the case, I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, is they really did do it. Fact. Documented fact. But there were remote viewers that were saying that on these on this container ship that was stuck that that they were finding things alive. And man, I like immediately went to like kids, you know, like an Epstein traffic ring. And while I wouldn't want that to happen, I just would love for some I'm just I would love to see justice for these kids, man. I really would. Because the stuff how that came and went so quickly just blows I hate it. This Gislaine Maxwell, nothing's, you know, unless they're just waiting, and they could be. But man, I really thought that if nothing came or went by the by the election, that I just I pretty much given up hope on it. But I really was got excited about that. Not in a sense that I really was hoping there's a bunch of kids locked up in a container. I just want justice for these kids, man, and they're being taken. Their all futures being taken away with all this shit. But at least, hey, at least they blame blame mom and then told her thanks. <laughs> Now, on to the next part of the video, because I told you in this video as well. So, my mistake. I really did think it was going to be a lot bigger of an issue than what it was. They do they do say that it's going to take like 10 days for shipping to get back to normal, so we'll see what kind of effect. But I don't think, I have not seen anything like, you know, irreversible damage, or the damage has been done. So, as far as I know, maybe there's a little bit of a bump of inflation, but as far as I know, like, we literally dodged a bullet on this one. Um... But I want to show you, like, again, in that video I told you, and this just happened, it breaks my heart. It does. It breaks my heart real bad because this is not easy for me to sit here and watch, people. I don't know how you can sit by and just watch this happen. You remember how I told you, right? Fifty Shades of Grey made you love your restraints because that's what Saturn is. Restraint, restriction. So everything's being downsized because that's what Saturn is. Restraint, restriction. Separation. The UK is telling people to, to narc on each other if they're hugging. But anyway, Fifty Shades of Grey is about, you know, eroticizing and romanticizing Saturn's restraint on mom. So you'll be all happy women to be tied up and be all turned on. And then they're going to scare you with this pandemic to make you love the, the, the muzzle. And then you're going to be happy for the poison, which is the vaccine. And now we're going to show you that. I made that video and then this literally happened a couple days later. Here we go. I do want to mention this real quick. See, I keep putting it off because I don't want to do this because it hurts. So remember I just told you Jeebus is uh, Jupiter? So you see he's holding up these two fingers. And I've talked about this before because he's talking about the two ages. How we're going out of Pisces and into Aquarius because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to have taken his teachings and then apply them in this new age that we're in. So with Zu Suez being Zeus backwards, which is Jesus. And I've been telling you and showing you how we are in the age of Aquarius because we left Pisces is why that place was chosen. Because Jupiter is the ancient ruler of Pisces. Now it's Neptune, but it used to be Jupiter because they say that they couldn't see the planets as far out as they are now. So, like, for example, they say Saturn is the ancient ruler of Aquarius, but the modern ruler is Uranus because they were able to see Uranus finally in the 1800s. So that's, but it's all bullshit because they could see everything then. It's all a cover-up. They could see every, all the planets, all of them, all the stars, every one of them. How do you think the pyramids were so closely aligned with the stars? And there's a reason why. I'm trying to decide if I ever want to get into that with you all or not and tell you the story because I have seen no one no one knows apparently. Now they have these they have the stuff leaked in the books, but they don't have it all tied together. So I'm here to tell you that for a 100% documented fact, sorry you haven't found it yet, they could see Uranus. They could see Saturn. They could see Jupiter. This is all a cover-up. They're trying to hide the real ruler because they want a phony one to rule on Earth because that way they have control. If the real sun rules, they lose control. So the rule of first rule about Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. Right? 
because it's a cover-up, because love is the fight club. Fight club. It's called Tough Love. Have you ever seen the movie Closer? Watch the movie Closer, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's uh, Jude Law, Clive Owen, Natalie Portman. I fell in love with her in that damn movie. It's crazy. I never really cared for that woman. Then That movie just rocked my world. I don't really have a thing for her. I'm just like, you know, I'm just being facetious, but she got my attention in that movie. And Julia Roberts. It's a big story about love. And in that movie, Clive Owen tells Jude Law. Law is the god of Saturn, or the, excuse me, Saturn is the god of law. He tells Jude Law and makes that bitch back down and takes his woman from him. After there's a big deception and betrayal, it's a, a terrible love story, but it all turns out with a pretty happy ending and everyone gets what they deserve. Anyway, Clive Owen says to Jude Law, he's like, you ever seen a human heart? It's shaped like a fist. Yep. That's why it's called tough love. You know the whole Cupid's a lover, not a fighter? That's right. He's not. He's not a fighter, but that don't mean he can't be. Because love says peace, 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 peace. Always. Until there's no resort except for to hit you. Just like the Quran says. That's what the Quran says. You can beat a woman. It's a last resort. You shouldn't hit her face and you shouldn't hit her hard. But it's okay to do it because that means she hasn't learned her lesson. It's all cover up, man, and you're falling for it, saying this bullshit. Oh, they couldn't see the planets back then. Oh, they had to. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I guess. Uh, never mind. So let's get on to this. Let's get on to this heartbreak. Have you ever seen a human heart? It looks like a fist wrapped in blood. Go fuck yourself, you writer, you liar. No more procrastination. Let's just get to it. So let me show you how. I was oh I was on top of the world. Here we are talking about my show on this pretty you know nice big time TV radio show. Let's 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 listen. <sighs> Tell us about the goddess of humor. I'm the goddess of humor now. Well, you're a goddess of humor now, but you've always been a goddess. And I do a thing called Carol's Critiques, where I critique books and movies and art. Yeah, see, there's my show right there and everything. Carol's great now. So I'm being, oh, I'm having a good time. Oh, I'm feeling great. I'm just having, I'm on top of the world, like I said. Now, let's listen to my heartbreak. How are you handling all this uh, COVID? Uh, the lockdown, the unlockdown, and then, uh, you know, certain things you can and can't do? See, and if I don't press play, I, I can act like I never heard it. They, they've not rolled out the vaccines really well. Uh, it's been stopping and starting. I did finally get my first shot. I'm really thrilled. Okay, listen, listen. There goes my heart. And you notice how I said you'd be, the women would be happy or they'd be excited. I think we're, I can't remember which adjective I used. She used the word thrilled. So I'm looking forward to getting out to do stand-up comedy again. Um, the comedy clubs are still not open here. They've been trying to do some outdoor uh, gigs, which is nice, but I'm still too afraid to share a mic with a ton of people. Which doesn't make sense because you have the vaccine. So like I said, fear is not your highest self. And then, so my heart's broken, but then I got to give it to the guy for asking this question. And uh, what, what was so thrilling about getting a shot? Bingo, bango. But, you know, I love Carol. She's terrific. She has been so awesome to me. Very supportive, very encouraging, almost mother, motherly, and, and, and just been very nice and very supportive. We work together. I don't know how much she really would like me. You know, I don't know. I, 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 but she, I don't know. I, I, who knows? It's, 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 it's tough to be me because I know deep down most likely everyone's going to hate me because of how far on the other side I am with everything. But, you know, I, I'm not going to kick. I would never in a million years not work with her, not want her on my show. I, you know, I, I so... I'm just, I'm trying to make it work the best I can. I wish the best for her. She's a mother. Um, it's, it's just heartbreaking. You know, I'm just not going to get on here and encourage this. I'm not going to cheer my mom on and just be like, good job going and getting the vaccine. You know, good job continuing to be taken advantage of. Good job being disrespected in the bedroom. You know, I'm just not going to, I'm not, and I'm not saying those things are happening to her, but all the reflections of, of my mother and of our mother that that's happening to. You know, it's just not easy for me to watch, man. It's really not easy for me to watch, and I just can't get over how easy it is for everybody. So it's fun being me because I was. I was on top of the world, and just when the matter of seconds later, let's hear it one more time. Ugh, that's about what it felt like. I just wish it were different, but that's her choice, not mine. You know, her body. Who am I to tell her? So what have you done for love today? See you later.
Uh-huh.